All right, cool, no problem. And anything the you said the distance running? Yeah, no. I mean. Sorry. Sorry. 
so this will be your problem for me. And like some say something really stupid, like you know, we had gay sex or something. No, <laughs> no, we yeah, would not have gay sex. No. Because, you know, that's, you know, yeah. I like four inch dicks in a man. Yeah, yeah, but you know, buying something that that level of stupid, the shit was you say in a video. Right. <laughs> Trolls take it, man. Well, what you need to understand is that based upon my observation and based upon the law enforcement is like that, but other people have looked at what they're doing, you're not dealing with normal people. What you need to understand is that those guys are not just normal trolls who are having fun with the internet, they, they are clinically mentally ill. Mm -hmm. They're legitimately mentally ill people. And I'm not saying that to make fun of them. I'm not saying that just being a dickhead. I'm saying it's quite obvious at a certain threshold that you're dealing with people with various uh, pathologies. And that's not going to be, oh, you can't, we can't joke and say autism, but that wouldn't actually be true. Um, you know, you're dealing with a, a multitude of different uh, pathologies, and that's actually common. There's actually been studies looking into that in the last few years when you're dealing with cyber stocking rates. That is, people with certain different sets of abnormal psychology who band together and make the group think that they actually they dehumanize their person and they create a strong man of the division and they dehumanize them. That's normal. They all they, they, they convince themselves from circular logic that that person is more evil than they were. And that it's that it this great moral crusade that they're on, and for some of them, if they're psychopaths, it gives them a morally justifiable reason to enrich their psychopathology. So it, it's, it's actually a really sick thing. And it's not just because of things to me, if it was a good thing about And yes, there have been cases of cyber psychopaths as a good murder in the person. So that's why, you know, I, I, because I know that, because I've researched it, and I've seen it, and I've talked to people that's correct, but I know someone who did some of their doctoral work in, into it, and I'm like, oh, that's right, I would talk about it. But that, that stuff does happen. So when I look at that, I would just say, if I could die, I'd just die because they're going to hurt somebody later who uh, doesn't have the ability to defend themselves. I mean, 
I'm not joking or bolstering or putting it in that bravado all night, but we should have that motherfucker. I do have some fighting skill. Like I said, I grew up as a white kid in Wimbledon mm-hmm. Acres. I had to, if I didn't know how to fight, I would have got my ass beat on a daily basis every single fucking day. That's just reality. And then it's just, that's just the simple reality, especially with your own other experiences. To fight one of family, you have to fight this whole family. Because they're very family oriented, they don't put up with that shit. My cousin dad, so I'm gonna cut the ass. You gonna kill the full of defense. You don't learn how to fight. Then <laughs> <laughs> they all like to cut the weird dynamic, which is what all of them the whole thing up with, and they're just like, cool, they like you. Hmm. You know, I mean, that's just, it's just so <laughs> But that's, you know, situation there. I mean, I'm pretty strong guy. I do know how to fight. I have a set of other guns. By, by no means would I be a pussy with anyone's, anyone's definition of pussy. I don't know. Mm-hmm. So, having this, this whole idea that they would, would confront me is just fucking stupid. And anyone who's delusional enough to do that means they're also anxious enough to go confront their next person who could be a 15 year old girl. Ooh, yeah. So, you know, because they know they'll move on to something else <laughs> eventually. Well, to be fair, I used to be attracted to a 15-year-old girl. What's that? I used to actually be attracted to a 15-year-old girl. It was back in, like, the 10th grade, man, my sophomore year of high school. <laughs> she was so hot, dude, but I don't think I like her anymore, right. though. But, you know, I wouldn't actually pursue her now. That's what I'm saying. Right, right. Well, that's what I mean. Some of you guys are older. Like, one of them was, like, 36. So, it is actually such a Mm-hmm. So there's a pretty wide range of people in this group. Um, so, it, it, you know, my, my point with that, so when I said, yeah, we totally fuck them up. Because it would be, make the world a better place. I would actually be doing people a favor. And if they're stupid enough to do it, I've already sold the food, so I've got a pretty good, I've got a pretty good defense case of that. Mm-hmm. So, um, and I'll actually be doing the same thing, and I'll be so, Alright, he's that. muted, guys. I'm about to ask him these questions. And then we're going to see the in person inter- interview. Ramble on, dude. Those of you fitness queers are old anyway, so you should probably know that song. Ramble on. Um, so, again, absurdity yeah. of it. Like, I actually have nothing to lose and everything. I mean, obviously, in your income, man. I mean, you do make bank. ask you this let me ask you this so what's up with the whatever what was up with the asmr cardio gamer channel oh um like i mean it was just um it was just your you know you made the channel but like <laughs> i don't know just why'd you take it down is what i'm asking i guess Yeah. 
Jason, you are a fucking... <laughs> crazy dude it makes them look like bums it makes them look like bums man because you're like you're spending hundreds of hours playing wow but these bums are watching you play well i mean dude that i mean how could you be such a bum to waste hundreds of hours on something like that man Actually, it's, it's muted. He's actually legit about his. He's legit about his income, but I'm not going to say exactly what it is because you know we don't want to get too personal here, guys. with him but he doesn't go out in public because stalker is going to go approach him <laughs> ask you this though were you a male model I mean I mean did did you get paid to be a model all right did some brand did you photo shoots whatever Is it mean anything? Is it not? Technically, they are models. 
I got tons of models. Yeah. Tons of them on my Facebook. I got six or models and I'm not going to talk to them. Hmm. Some of them aren't that pretty. All right. They've got five or six photo shoots. But, but the point is, we go back to that client. Why does it matter? Other than to say I did do some of it one time and I realized how great 12 days fuck that entire season. Okay, guy, that is apartments. I don't know because I was see I, I, what I wanted to do is test out the weight to see if it was real. I believe it's real. But, I mean, I kind of want to get a lift or well, get a red band. And then what I would say is, I mean, if I'm falling hard enough to destroy three thousand dollars worth of road plates, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. All right, so. But when I go do meets again, it'll all be confirmed by the union. So we need to ask about plates because it's not like I'm not going to compete again. I'm not going to train the way I'm training and not eventually go back into competition with judges and calibrated plates that are certified and all that. I'm not proud of that. Mm -hmm. I actually enjoy doing that. So, uh, yeah, you want, you want to sit down over there or what? Or... Is it okay if I harness on him? He goes high strung out here. I feel you. Is it okay if I tell him to be quiet? Dogs just like trigger my uh, retardation. I'll tell you what I'll do. Hold on to this. I'll bring him out. I'll put him in his harness real quick, barking. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was just kidding, but all right. All right. That's all good. That is the Jason Blaha, guys. Cool. I'm so sleepy, man. I've been awake since six o'clock for no reason. We didn't even have football this morning, but my clock's just all fucked. Yeah. But, yeah. Very sleepy, but let's get on. Let's get on with this interview, huh? <laughs> oh my gosh, there's Nova. There he is. is that a lab or what? Yeah, he's a lab yeah, I got a lab too at home. <laughs> oh shit! Not go back. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Nova. Oh. Nova. Come here. Come here. Come on. Sit. Sit. This is a responsible dog owner, guys. He's, he's gonna be so hyped. He's like, I'm on camera. Yeah. He's like, he knows when the camera's on. He's watching. Right. So as soon as he's calm here, it's all good. All right, I'm gonna have to ask you the tough questions, man. The tough questions. The all tough right. questions. All right. So, first of all, okay. First of all, uh, my friend Ryder wants a shout out. Can you just say hi, Ryder, or some shit? All right. Do you know who the, do you know about the channel Fight Time Parod, the Eastern European guy? I've heard of it vaguely. I think he made a video about me a while back, but I didn't actually watch it. Right he now. made a lot of videos about you. Yeah. See, that's the thing. I don't actually watch them. Like, you would ask me, hey, do you know the video I made about you? I still haven't seen it. Got gotcha. you. You know, because there's, there's no money to be made in me talking about people talking about me who don't have an outreach. Uh huh. I'm not going to make any money doing that, so I don't know. My current event videos, I do them for the money. My informative, I enjoy helping people. Uh -huh. I like those. I like helping people with them get results. But as far as the current events, I only do those for the money. I literally have no other motivation. No, I mean, I'm sure. I mean, just, or at least that. fighting disinformation. So that's usually my only two motives. So if I talk about Cali Muscle or if I talk about fight time production, I want to get paid for it. Yeah. And you want the brutal honesty? Huh. I do that for the money. That's it. Well, I mean, it's your job, man. It's so. my job. And you've seen what I make. So, I've showed you the, the deposits. So, yeah, that's my job. So, these guys aren't important enough for me to talk about. Now, they make money talking about me, and I can appreciate that. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I'm popular enough that if they can make a living talking about me, more power to them, right? For sure. I mean, you can get this monetized, this interview, you're probably going to make more money off of it. 
Yeah, everybody probably. Yeah. You know, everybody wins. Yeah. People are entertained. They make money. But back to the point, what were you going to ask me about him? I actually haven't watched it. Fight Time Pro. Well, he just wanted me to know. Wanted me to ask you if you knew him. No. I've seen him in my feed. I have definitely seen him in my feed, but I actually, I wouldn't know the guy's voice or anything like that. If you were gotcha. here right now, I wouldn't know his name. All right. Well, I'm just gonna go down this these lists of questions right here. So, was Body by Finiplex you? Was it? It was me and two of my other friends all logging in. And who were those house. friends? I'm not gonna get into who all of them are. I'm the police officer now, so he probably wouldn't want that to be known. H HPD? <laughs> no, he's not HPD. What's his first name? I'm not gonna give his first name again. I'm gonna give his privacy. But so no, all of those posts are not me. And if you were to ask me right now, what did I post there? I wouldn't give. Well, I'm sure it was I mean, years look ago. At the dates on it. It's like I would ask you, do you remember what you posted on like, somewhere on road 15 years ago? Yeah, but you posted some crazy, like, weird shit, man. I don't know if I can remember. And not all of it was me, so it's like if you were to go back and ask me, did I make this post or did someone else? I'd be like, I don't fucking know. I, could, I might have. Mm -hmm. The internet's crazy. So, you know, I mean, so the people who are reading it are more up to date on it than I am. I don't actually know what all of it says. I really don't. I would actually have to go read it again to even know. I got you. So. Hmm. Because I mean, that's ancient history. <laughs> I know, but it comes back in the ass, man. It comes back it in the ass. what it is. The internet wasn't the same as it is today. People that's know true. that today. Back then, no one actually thought of that stuff. So we just trolled and trolled and everybody had a good time. We did stupid shit. And no one actually ever thought about it back then that way. Someone who's an example to say, hey, you know, that is the reality of it. But the fact is, if you were to ask me, hey, did you write this 17 years ago? Like, I don't fucking know. Maybe. I could have as possible. Mm -hmm. But I don't necessarily remember it. I know I trolled there a lot. Yeah. All right. And another thing people want to know is, like, do you, you have do you have two teeth? Let's see it. My teeth are really fucked up after living in the UK. They're, they're dental there. Let's see a so, smile one more time. Yeah. So I'm probably eventually going to get the rest of them to just pull the yeah. implants. That probably cost me about nine or ten grand. Jesus. So I think in the long term it'll be worth it. Probably. probably do this another, another couple of years. Especially since I'm on camera all the time, I'm just going to just have all implants done. Yeah, they get on your ass about that a lot. I had a friend, I had a friend who did that. She got it done because her teeth were really fucked up due to an issue while she was in the womb. And in her 30s, she got everything cool and implants done, and it was actually really, really, really awesome when it was finished. Hmm. So I'll probably look into doing that eventually. All right. And <laughs> it says here you have two black belts, but I don't think you got black belts, do you? I do have a martial arts background. I'm not a black belt. I took martial arts growing up as a kid, and uh -huh. today it doesn't matter because I'm strapped all the time. It's like if someone wants to pick a fight, I'm just gonna fucking shoot them. Uh huh. Like, why am I going to risk hitting somebody and catching their contagious diseases from whatever weird gay shit these bodybuilders are into? I could just shoot them. Right, fuck them. Oh, but yeah, I took, I took karate and taekwondo growing up. I was never amazing at it. Uh huh. But I know how to fight. Okay. So I have some training. But no, I'm not I'm not good enough to go jump in a cage match. I'd get my ass whipped by a real MMA fighter. Of course I would. So why'd you say you had two black belts then? Why not? It's the internet. Uh, championship target shooter that can score headshots at a thousand yards. I, did I say headshots at a thousand? I Let's don't remember see. saying that. Have I ever shot a thousand yard match? Yes. But headshots at a thousand? Without flags? I don't know. That's a stretch, man. Hold on. Let's see. Being a nice guy. But did you see the clip of me shooting the other day that I put up? I did, I did. Okay, so w would you say that I'm above average shooting with a handgun? I don't know about all that. Uh, Ask anyone who shoots to go watch that clip and say, am I above average with a handgun? Could I could I shoot circles around the average police officer walking down the street? I don't know. Ask anybody who shoots to go watch that clip and come back and answer that. I'm a pretty good shot. Uh, and I mean, that's back to that other point. I think my first wife in an interview admitted she saw my grandfather's trophies. Everyone's pulled my whole family background. They know I have a first cousin from the same grandfather who is a sniper right now in the army. Right now, at this time, presently, and has been for over a decade, same grandfather. We were all taught by the same guy how to shoot. Um, it, it, people have seen me post up sub MOA rifles. They've seen me build AR-15s on the camera. It's not an unreasonable assumption to assume that I'm an above average. 
because that made me the best in the world. Can I, can I compete with Chris Kyle? So you can shoot, so you can hit targets at a thousand yards. It didn't say headshots here. Yeah. All right. Could I do it in this weather today? Probably. All right. And then okay. So you said the mercenary shit was trolling. That Brittany put it put you up to it. And I actually already did an apology to anyone who was offended by it. So, I'm going to apologize again. I mean, I don't care. But... Anyone who's offended by that, I apologize. This is 2019. I apologize in 2018. I took the videos down, what, over three years ago? I mean, yeah. it, it forced for me that live in that part of the past on the internet. I mean, fair enough. But you said Brittany put you up to it last time I was here. Yeah, she did. And then I don't want to get going into my, my private life. And then the fact of the matter is she got in my life. I apologized for them already. I gave a, le a legitimate, a sincere, sincere apology for anyone who was actually offended. Uh huh. Um, and anyone claiming stolen valor, there was never any mention of military in there. That was never said. So, and I still apologize for it. I, I think that's the least I can do is give any, any veterans who were legitimately offended. But I mean, by the, what I meant before when I said the trolling, it was the case of saying anyone who thought I was serious is a fucking retard. I mean, let's be honest here. I mean, anyone who really and truly thought I was being serious is probably borderline. I mean, I, 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 true. I mean, the fact yeah. people thought I actually meant it. I mean, let's be realistic here. I'm making all those threats to people, man. You know, I mean, that's no, not really. Threat. No, that's not threats. You need to look up the legal term. Statement. I mean, yeah, okay, if you want to get technical, but <laughs> that is that's like people take point. people take that as a threat, though. That's what I'm saying. That's not how a court sees it. Yeah. Threat's a legal term. So if, if I were to tell someone, hey, if you come up to my front door, you personally, I'll blow your brains out, that is not a threat under the law. The police would tell you, I would recommend you don't go up to his front door. That would be that they wouldn't arrest you for a threat. It's not a threat. So I have been threatened. I've gotten hundreds of, of legitimate threats. I've gotten threats I've had to call the police over that are actually threats. But that's considered to be a conditional statement um, because it's not a, hey, I'm going to do this to you. If you do this, this is going to be my response. Uh, and if it's something that you have the option to do, meaning if it's something unreasonable, well, if you don't take this video down, that would be one thing. But it's another thing if I say, hey, if you come up and you uh, confront me in a way that I feel like you're a threat to me, which would mean someone jumping up screaming the crazy shit from the internet, like just jumping out randomly and screaming it. Because of all the realistic threats I got, I am going to take that as a potential threat. So yeah, I'm just going to shoot the motherfucker. Why wouldn't I? Well, um, yeah, that's fair enough to say, I guess. Tech if you want to get technical, but what I saw, I saw like a screenshot of Lane Norton saying like you would kill his family. Like you but did see, <laughs> Jason. It was right. It was right there on the. Yeah, but I didn't. You said, I will take them and burn them or some shit like no, that. No, he said that. J he didn't say no, that. He did say that. Yeah, he totally did. He's the one who said he, it's the only one who said me about burning anybody. And then. I kept copies of his video saying it. I kept them for later evidence. I have ripped copies. All right, but you did make a death threat to his family. We all saw that on your Facebook. No, I didn't. <laughs> Are you saying you didn't? Yeah, you want me to pull it up? What's that? You want me to pull it up? No, I don't want to see it. But the fact is, I didn't. And you know what? My sister has talked to Wayne about that in person. She's had a conversation with him about it when he called her, and he, he seriously needs to drop that silly shit. I mean, that's at the point to where you want to talk about suing people for him, having talked to someone else about it, who knows if he were to continue to make that statement, that's technically, that's technically defamation, because I didn't, and he knows I didn't. So that's, that's a simple reality. And I mean, that's the sort of shit that that will get me mad when people start with that. Like in person, that's the sort of stuff I'll get pissed at you over because I really didn't. And that's bullshit. And Lane knows better. Um, he knows that. Mm. And I tell him the same thing. If he accused me of that in person, I would tell him to go fuck himself. Okay. 
And <laughs> no. all right, no, I think that's fair. I hear you. And okay, so Brittany posted a photo of Brittany posted a photo of supposed your supposedly whatever you're taking, some steroids, whatever it was. Right. Well, well, what's up with the photo, man? Like, explain it. I don't know. You tell me. All right. Well, <laughs> it showed. It showed like I think a bowl with like steroids. I don't. It sounds, it sounds so dumb <laughs> saying it. The steroids in it. So, uh, in the place. Right. right. Yeah. Well, so I, what, what I will tell you is there there is no steroid lab in my place. There are no anabolics in my place right now. There's nothing illegal that doesn't have a prescription actually in my place. And the reason I did that, um, yeah. You want me to be frank? Let's get some honesty. Did I brew here again at one time here back in Texas? Sure. In here? No, not here. Yeah, no, never here. Okay. Prior to that, prior to me moving in here, sure I did. Uh, was I for a little while making myself a replacement dose of test because it's cheaper than using a doctor? Sure. But you said it, it was doctor prescribed, though. But because it's cheaper to make your own, it really is. It's way, way cheaper. I'm talking. It, most people don't know the, the stuff you're buying on the street. You guys are paying for the guy who made it made it for seven to eight dollars a bottle. That's what he made it for. Um, that, that's what it costs. But I'm at a point now because of all the goofy ass the FBI has dug so far into my shit and they actually, like, they probably dug into you just because you called me at this point and they've dug into my entire life because trolls called the feds on me, I called the feds on trolls, other YouTubers have called the FBI and the FBI is going out talking to them about it over on BitNesk and other people. Like, everyone there who was in the U.S. who was a member of that forum has been investigated now by the feds. Do you have proof of that? Don't need proof of it. If they get caught for shit later, they done fucked up. When their steroid dealer gets caught because they were stupid enough to talk to him through the same device that they go to those forums on, that's their ass. Jason, but I just don't believe, I just don't believe the FBI is looking at everybody on the fitness forum, man. I just, I, yeah, like, if you have no proof of it, I just can't believe it. Do you not realize how many people they've harassed? The FBI? The fitness? Oh, I mean, yeah, I'm sure. Do you sure. understand how many laws this guy I believe I believe that, but you, you do know I'm not the only person they've harassed, right? You you know I'm not the only person who's even talked to the FBI about that. Uh, who who else has? Uh, other YouTubers who they've harassed. I'm huh. not gonna go into who, but it should be obvious. Let's see if there's any YouTuber who you guys harassed their family. You can be damn sure they went to the vets. I could just, but they don't talk about no other YouTubers on here, man. They talk about Jerry Ward's on there, but I don't think they harassed him. And they talk about this guy named Mark Stooping or whatever, and... And here's, here's the problem they have. Because they don't some of those people contacted the FBI, tried to file reports against me and other people. They forced them to investigate everybody involved, including me. The feds dug into all my shit. They dug into all my private emails and all my private life and all my shit over all of it. Uh, and yeah, they did open a formal investigation. Their counterterrorism department had to open a formal investigation into me because of all the bullshit. But, so, the, and that's what people need to understand. They, they think about this internet stuff and they think it's all a game and it's all fun. Um, but because of that, I'm going to be frank with you. There's no way I don't have any shit in my house at this point after all of that because the feds are in the middle of my stuff. Um, there's no way I would. So, <laughs> yeah, fuck no. Fuck no. So say you got rid of it after Brittany posted the photo. Like, but how, how did she just... I know she didn't pull that photo from online, so it had to be in there, man. No, it wasn't in here. That she's got had some older stuff, and I don't even know what all she put up. But the fact of the matter is, uh, I don't want to go into her personal life. I really don't. You, you know that she's got her own set of issues. I, be, I believe that, but uh, it's, it's just the photo dangerous. she posted, though, man. It's not about. I'm not asking like, you know, what's going on in Moon Cookie's mind. I'm just asking like, why she posted that photo. Well, or like, when, what, you, when you break up with people and they don't. Yeah, I know they have beef on you. They, they go crazy. <laughs> but she still posted a photo with steroids in it, though. Well, so what? What's your what's your question? I just I just told you the answer. Oh, okay, okay. It's still recording. And by that same token, I was totally honest with Wayne. You know why? Why? Because I told him in an email and his lawyers that I would die and go to hell before I gave him or his lawyers a single penny. And I kept my word. That, that is what I told him before he ever took it to court. I said you can push us as far as you want, but I'm telling you now, I will die and fucking go to hell. That's what I wrote in an email. And, and I kept my word, I didn't. I made the courts reimburse me for my taxi fee for the only time I ever went to a court related to this. I made the actual court reimburse my taxi fee. It didn't cost me a penny. And, and I think that's fair.
unfair because I mean he he manipulated that system. He spent a large amount of money. To Absolutely would not have flown here, and he knows that. And any reasonable person who looks at it knows that. Um, and again, if someone tried to do that same shit here in an anti-slap state like Texas, they would make me a fucking millionaire. Because I would actually get all their assets when they fucking have them off. If you go look at the anti-slap laws, you can't do that sort of bullshit you did there over here. Uh -huh. They look into the laws. Let's go like Texas law. We can, we can put that meme in there. <laughs> Texas law, baby. All right. Hold so why would, I pay, why would I pay him? He has money to waste suing people in six figures over bullshit. He doesn't need the money. He's good. So, but didn't you have to leave the country because of it? No, I left the country for personal reasons involving me and my relationship. And actually, uh, there was no legal requirement. I actually have an indefinite leave to remain. This is I can return to the UK and live there anytime I want. I don't want to. Got you. So, would you like to see it? It's in my pocket. Sure, go. For it. So, yes, I still have a valid indefinite. Oh shit, it's not in my pocket. It's all you scratch that part out, fuck it. All right. You got me lying. It's sitting on my dresser. <laughs> so I thought it was. I thought I had my wallet with me. All right, and um, right here it says. But that's weird. Like, why does anyone think that that forced me to leave the country? Like, no one is is deported over a civil suit. Well, he's there on a marriage indefinitely to remain. I have an ex-wife in the UK. Did you? Is it true you turned down an offer by the U.S. Army to be a con commissioned officer? A commissioned officer? Yep. No. Did they try to recruit me multiple times and harass the fuck out of my mom over and over and over? The recruiters, yes. All right, so, so you said you were obese in high school, but how was the army recruiting an obese guy? Like going head over heels for him? Did I say I was in high school? Or like early twenties? Wouldn't that be when they were recruiting you? Do you know any high schoolers in their early twenties? After high school, after high school. <laughs> but. So you see, you see the contradiction in this story. Right, but you said you were obese, like from that time period, from like end of high school to like the early twenties, is what I'm saying. I believe so. I don't believe that's what I said. But, you know, when did you I'll, say you were obese? I'll take your word for it. No, I lost weight shortly after high school. And I wasn't super fat in high school. I got fat shortly after high school, and then I lost a bunch of weight. Um, the army was coming there over number one. Again, my shooting. Uh, my shooting was fantastic. They did that was available. It could be found at the time. Also, some recruiters had talked to me, and I'd gone to take a sample. I'd done a sample as that. And because I scored the highest possible score on it, they kept showing up warning saying, hey, you know, why don't you, you come join? You could get these benefits. They were like talking to my mom. They showed up and talked to my mom about this over the years. Um, my dad refused and did not want to join me. And I don't want to get into all my personal life. That's my dad, fine. My, my dad flat told me, no, don't you do it. I don't, I don't want this on All right. So. So that was just. And I chose not to do it. So when did you become a distance runner? When did I become? Did, you said you were a distance runner at one point? Yeah. Like you did marathons and shit? I did a couple marathons, yeah. Do you have medals for it? Nope. Doing a marathon makes you a distance runner, but it doesn't make you a good distance runner. <laughs> but Jason, like, all right, my mom has done a few marathons. She has medals just for finishing, and she's right. slow as shit. Right. So where's your medals at? I don't have any medals laying around. But, I mean, I've done races. I've done some marathons. Was I a good distance runner? No. I mean, you guys know that I compete in other sports. I obviously have an interest in fitness. Yeah. To, to say that I have done a couple low-end marathons or that I used to run long distance for fun is... is to, to question something like that, it would be different if I said I won something. It's just fucking Right, but the reason why people question it is because you said you were obese and also a distance runner. Like very different time periods. And I distance ran like Okay. Which again, I don't think that's a big stretch of stuff. You got that and then you lost that. Well, distance running and doing running every day. Well, I actually think that also really that 
contrary to popular opinions, like if you're fat, if you sit around on your fat ass, and you get up and you start running every day for months on end, you will lose fat. <laughs> it's a goddamn miracle. Hmm. I know, I can't explain it. It's almost as if you burn calories doing it. For real. So, I mean, that's the sort of stupid shit that people question. I just look at I don't understand. I, look, I seriously don't understand the why. I just... Fair enough. I mean, I get that people want to question the mercenary thing. I get that. I mean, I, I totally get that. That's a totally legitimate... Well, you know, fuck you. Until then, I've come back and said, well, it's not true, and I apologize. And it's like, okay, well, we still know you're lying. Okay, great. And, and I can understand people question. That's a totally reasonable thing to question. I just stand around and go, oh, you want to question about marathons and this little shitty tiny marathons that didn't place very well. It's not exactly a grand claim. I clearly lost a bunch of fat at different points. I, I did feel it you. somehow. Yeah. Yeah, no, I got you. And I don't like meth, so I didn't do it using meth. <laughs> so my options were probably diet and exercise or some type. So I ran. All right, so back to what... So I don't know if you know, but your boy Copper Top, Jay Parker, has been on the Fitness Forum. No, I didn't know all that. All right, well, he's been on there. I, I really don't even want to talk about him. Though. Fuck it. All right, well, I'm going to put this out there, and you can respond however you want. You can give me a no comment. So Jay, Co Jay Parker has been on FitMisc and all that, and he's saying how you and Brittany came into his house like just like frantic about you know some troll stalker. Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. All right. What he said doesn't matter, and here's why. And I don't need to see all of it because ultimately, what happened, what my ex told me uh -huh. after we broke up, is the same thing that they did with Matt Miller, that, that cokehead Matt Miller, who oh. I've seen do a gram of coke off a fucking countertop. I watched him do it. Um, so fucking cokehead. See, that's not defamation because I saw it personally. That's fine. So, because he was harassed by these trolls, they essentially told him that they would stop harassing him if he would basically write or read whatever script that they gave him. So therefore, in order to not be harassed, that worked really well on Miller, who knows Parker, by the way. They're, fr they're friends in real life. They went to high school together. Uh, what they did, they're like, we'll leave you alone and we won't harass you if you just read this script or say whatever about him. So then we have it and then you've said it. It's my understanding that she told me that because they had harassed him so much in one of his jobs, yep. they had actually gotten him fired from a job, that in order to end the harassment, he agreed to go post whatever he was told to post in exchange for them no longer harassing him. If he would disavow me publicly and say whatever shit that they wanted him to say and spin the story they wanted, they would leave him alone. So, testimony given under duress by people who are tired of being harassed just to get people to leave them alone has no value. So, quite frankly, because I've been told that's part of the story, I don't give a fuck what he said. Uh, I don't begrudge him. Uh -huh. I figure, you know, if he's that worried, I know he did lose a job over it. I know his money was tight. I know they really fucked with his life. Uh, that if he said whatever he had to say to make them leave him alone so he doesn't get fired again, that's his livelihood. So I really don't give a shit what he said. I don't fucking care. It's under duress. I'm not even gonna take it personal, and I quite frankly don't give a fuck what he said. So you're talking about Matt Miller or Copper Top here? Copper Top, that's Parker. Okay. His real name is Parker, right? right? You know that, right? Right. I mean, you guys all know his name and have his phone number. Everyone has all that shit. They put it out there. Yeah. His name is Jack Parker. He's just called Parker. That's what everyone calls him. Uh, so it doesn't matter what he said. It was done under duress in exchange for him no longer being harassed because they harassed the shit out of him. They harassed the shit out of him. Uh, and so therefore, in order to end that harassment, he said whatever he needed to say. I don't have any personal beef with him. I'm willing to just let it lie, let it go. But here's my thing. If you say, you know, all that mercenary shit was just a troll, and then you get... You know, it doesn't matter. What but it like, said, but though. it like ruined y'all's life, though, man. It made Jay Parker, well, made that guy lose his job or whatever. Made Jay Parker like no, 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 under no, no, duress no, 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 and no, no. Let's, let's go back to the point about trolling. That's where we come back to the point of saying, because you have done something that everyone around you deserves to be treated a certain way. Like, so it, it takes the blame. That's a way that people diffuse blame for saying, okay, I don't like what you did, so I'm going to be a bad person in retaliation, and I'm going to harass people and ruin their lives over it. But it's your fault. It's like, no, yeah, you're no, still I, a psycho fuck who's doing it. I feel, I feel you on that, but it's the fact that you carried it on. You didn't just stop it as soon as other people got in, but I getting did stop harassed. It. Meaning I didn't. Everything was deleted. Yeah, you deleted it, but then you just got to say, hey, I'm sorry about this. Please leave them alone. But you didn't Be, do that, though. Because I was advised. 
very specifically, and this anyone you're going to be a cop, you're talking about it, right? Yep. You're in law enforcement. They're going to tell you when you're dealing with people who are dealing with trolls and cyber stalkers. They're going to teach you just like every cop told me. Don't answer their stuff. Don't give it to any of their demands. That is what they teach them to tell you. That's what I would advise my law enforcement. That's what I, it was. It's the right move. No. If I could change time, if I could go build a time machine and talk to myself, and I don't have that ability, unfortunately, uh -huh. I, I would be wealthy and powerful beyond my wildest dreams if I did. This would even be a concern. But if I could build a time machine, I'd go back in time and say, hey, Jason, you probably don't want to make those videos. Or if I could jump to just a few months later, I go, hey, man, you should probably just apologize for those videos now, say it was all a joke, and say you're sorry. Three years ago, three and a half years ago. If I could, but I can't. So it's kind of like, it's one of those things where someone, hey man, you should have done this and you know you should have done it. How do you feel about that? Well, I feel that I should, if I had the ability to build a time machine and go back to change it, I totally would. That's, that's how I feel about it. So at what point did you realize like, yeah, I better apologize because she's getting out of hand? Uh, I apologized after it died down more. I waited until the smoke had mostly cleared uh -huh. to that point to where I didn't want to reinstigate things too bad. I didn't want things to get further out of hand. I, I let it die down the best that I could. Uh -huh. I thought about it a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, it's something I worried about. What do I need to do with this situation? Because I did legitimately change my religious beliefs. I prayed about it and said, what do I need to do? I need to actually apologize. And that's why I later did the apology, not just the video trolling. Because I realized, okay, I should probably, that'd be a good idea. If I've done something wrong, me actually getting up in front of the public in a camera and apologizing, and admitting I was wrong, uh, admitting that I apologize to anyone whose feelings I hurt, and, and I did. And I it's mean, a good answer. If you want a real answer on here, hey man, if I offended you guys with the, the fake mercenary stuff or lying about being a hit man, I apologize, man. Uh, it was years ago, a long time ago. I apologize. Doesn't make it right. But, you know, I think in light of the fact that it was years ago, I took it down. If you're still angry at me, just accept my apology. Move on with your life, guys. It's not worth harassing people. It's not worth harassing my neighbors over or my sister or my dog. And it's not worth going to jail over. Right? Alright. My lesson has been learned. I've been, I've been taught the proper lesson. I mean, I'd say when the bomb squad closed my street, I got a real good fucking lesson. <laughs> so, you, uh, maybe I fucked up. Yeah. All that's, right. that's usually that point in life when the bomb squad closes your street for an entire night. It's at that moment you usually have an epiphany that says, I think I fucked up. But after the bomb squad shit, you just, you made more threats. Well, okay, technically not threats against trolls, but you just said that shit, like, come and I'll shoot you. But see, the thing oh, is- Oh, I'll kill the fuck out of them. I, but, <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I Without hesitation, and I think that's <laughs> have me on record saying that. So it's not like, they're not the report. I've actually said that to an FBI agent while being reported. Okay. Well, they know that. It's not like, but not you, like I need to go any further with they know it. That's going to be played in front of the court later if it happens. But why is that? Be like, yeah, he told us he'd do it. Why, why at that moment, though, didn't you just say, hey, this is getting out of hand. I was just trolling. I'm sorry. But you wish you could have gone back. Is that the answer? Or you wish you could have just gone back in time? No, as far as those it? guys, the trolls? Yeah. No, I fucking killed the fuck out of them. They showed up. Okay. Why wouldn't I? Those people hey, are people guys. who don't need to be. Yeah, those are people who don't need to be free on the street. People who would harass people to that degree and then go confront someone in person. I mean, that's someone who, that, I hope they deal with someone like me who can just put down a sick dog rather than they go get someone who can't defend themselves because they're going to hurt somebody eventually. I would rather it be me to just go ahead and put them down before they go pick on some innocent little 16 year old girl who's going to be their next victim or before they go harass Jason Genova who can't defend himself as well. So I would rather be just put them down for the greater good. I mean, that's the sort of people you're going to have to arrest one day if you go into law enforcement. Yeah. You have to arrest pieces of shit like that. Mm -hmm. Get ready for it. Hmm. Wouldn't you rather somebody just put them down? Fuck them. Shit, man. <laughs> so, the world would be a better place. All right, well, we're going to do a little halftime show. <laughs> I want you to measure your arms on camera. I have measure a tape measure. Arm on camera? Well, I don't even got a phone. I, I Here, you hold that one. You got the yeah. dog.
rose or curls. Oh, oh man, we're coming up real fucking short. Damn, I thought they'd be bigger than that. I'm only 16 inches. Pull that shit tighter. Yeah, it is tight. There you um, go. Is that, are we all the way around? Uh, I think I'm gonna try to hold it. Okay, you get it all the way. You get it at the best point because I can't see if I got the angle right. Yeah, 16 inches. 16, so 16 inches. Yeah. Oh well. You know what? I guess I'm not gonna make it as a pro bodybuilder. Uh -huh. I better stick to power lifting. Or I better find a bottle of Synthol like Boston Boy. Oh my. So they say you got a gimp arm on the left side. Let's... Yeah, I did. You want to see the scar? Yeah. See that? All yeah right. Get that scar, man. Is that for, so, did you ever inject Synthol into your shit? No, I didn't inject Synthol. Did that I inject testosterone in there? Yes. So that picture of you in the early 20s, man, those triceps were popping. Like, that looks gotta, hella, that looks hella oily, man. It's also shitty cameras and everything else. So. Yeah, I didn't do Synthol. Did I ever do really small injections of test into my arms? Yeah. Was it three cc's? No. But, I mean, we get into that debate. What's the difference between test and synthol? Some guy tells you, well, I never, I never shot synthol, but I shot test in there. Well, it's kind of the same thing, isn't it? I mean, it's not synthol, but the effect can, can be the same if the volume came up. Alright, so, so... In retrospect, though, I mean... reverse for bench press bouncing like bouncing just, shitty wouldn't be meat legal my legit okay let's let's go what was the best legit pause bench i ever hit that what i would count as a bench press 425 now four people say that's unbelievable you guys have seen pictures where i have more muscle than i've had at any point while on youtube is that uh -huh. right? yeah as a general rule when people use more steroids and they have more muscle they usually a bit stronger most yeah, of the time sure. not always not uh -huh. always all right, people have seen me legit pause bench like 340. You guys have seen me do 335 close grip multiple days in a row, pause bench with calibrated plates. Uh -huh. I've done in different things on camera, 340 or more, paused. So if I were to throw another gram of gear onto that and have 20 pounds more muscle, and there are pictures out there that I think it's fair that I had 20 pounds more muscle than I've ever had on YouTube. All right. Can 20 pounds of extra muscle and how much is the we're talking about? 80 pounds, 60 pounds, something like that, difference on your bench. I don't think that's unbelievable. Now, I don't think that's unreasonable. I don't think that's unbelievable. But can I prove it absolutely as a fact? No, I cannot. So I'm not really going to worry about it a lot. I would rather worry about what I do moving forward and meets going forward. All right. People know they've seen me bench, you know, 340 ish pause, close grip. Yeah, yeah. You guys have seen me squat, what, 508? I've squatted 508 on camera uh -huh. with no wraps, no sleeves. It's an older man. Well, you didn't reverse grip bench for you just squatted though. No, 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 of course not. So that was a lie then, just, yeah? No, it wasn't a lie. No, it was, but again, we're coming back to bro lifts in the gym. Which right, spot is helping you arching, bouncing off your chest, ass coming off the bench, and all you bro spotters? Yeah, I feel you, but so, I, got, I got like but a... the point is, let's go back, let's go back in time. Uh, uh -huh. I've acknowledged years ago that, that, that was uh, it's a bullshit lift, that it's a bro lift in the gym. I'm not counting that as legit. If, if someone were to do that in front of me on camera, what I did and claim a 500-pound bench, I'd laugh at it. So when I'm telling you that, I don't count that bitch. And so that's why I quit saying that years ago, because I looked at it and said, okay, I'm, it's just being stupid because it was nowhere near legit lift. Um, it wouldn't count by anyone, any reasonable person's metric. So I'm not even going to mention it again. So it's other people who want to bring it up from, from, God, how many years ago was that? Did we even know four or five? I have no clue, but it's just the fact, like, I just can't fathom that you hold, like, in a reverse grip on the bench, that you hold your squat max like just hold it up like that. I, I just don't believe that, man. Like, well, here's what I would say: go do some some rack lock backs. Go see, actually, see what you can do with a couple weeks of rack lock. That's what you can reverse hold on to test that for yourself. Yeah, but then the fact that you bring it down and bounce, like just because you say I can't bench 405 for shit. Okay. But I can't just bounce. I like I can't bounce 405 off my chest and do it. Like I, I can't lock it out. You still have to have strength for that. Right, and I don't right. think you had five. I don't think you had the strength for 500 pounds to go reverse down on your chest and go. Uh, I'm not going to name any names. I don't want to make call anyone out. There, there are people out there who we've seen some ridiculous bounce bitches. Some smaller YouTube channels. I'm not, I don't want to insult anybody, but I like them as people. But you know who I'm talking about. Come on. 
you know there are dudes getting 50, 60, 70 pounds out of a bounce or more. I don't really go on the computer like that now. <laughs> if you'll turn the phone off, I'll tell you. I, I just don't want that. Right. I don't want to be a dick. All right. I really don't. All right, so I got a few more questions. I got a few more questions. All right, man. So that mugshot going around, that's for real, right? That Well, not mugshot from 99. Actually, that's one of those things I do not ever want to discuss in any shape, form, or fashion. All right, I'm um, just going to... And I've got my own reasons for that. I, that's One cool. of those topics I'll never discuss. I mean, you're free to ask, but you're just going to get a stone face from me. That's fine. Well, I'm just going to ask No you comment. That. Okay, so look. The... You claim a, you claimed at one point a 147 IQ. Like I know you're not a dumbass, mm -hmm. and I don't I know. Didn't, I honestly didn't make that up. That is actually what I was told after taking a Stanford Binet growing up. That is what I was told. All right, 147 IQ, but I'm just saying with the mugshot, you can say whatever you want to. With the mugshot, the judge said you had a sixth grade education. So you had the level of a sixth grade okay. up here. Let's man. go. Let's go back over here. You're going to study to be a police officer. You're gonna. I'm going to teach you something. You're going to learn. So then you'll cut. You can come back to me in a couple years and be like, God damn. Right. Okay, whoever that person was is irrelevant. You do know that every person arrested in the state of Texas, yep. that is done to you. When you go before a jury, before the judge even meets you, the judge makes that The judge has never met a person, that is what they do. So just so that we're clear, that standard procedure, you have to prove that, that you're educated or intelligent enough to stand trial. Now, I think I think if push come to shove, what, what year was that supposedly in? 99. 99. I bet you I could pull college transcripts of my own showing a honors, being on a dean's list and being honor society at a university somewhere. So I already had a high school diploma. All right. I earned, a, I, I actually graduated high school, not a GED. No, I, I believe you went to Sci Falls, right? I graduated Sci Falls. Do you have a picture of you from high school that you want to that you can show everybody? Man, I don't have any. Sorry, I really don't. I don't. I don't know if they've got me in the yearbook. They might be able to find me in one of the yearbooks somewhere. Were you like if people you... want to do? Because they're going to dig into it. You guys know I went. I went to Farmington for three years, also in New Mexico. And you just graduated from Sci Falls. When I was seventeen, we, my dad got offered a really good business offer to come back to Texas. He got offered a lot of money to come back to Texas, <laughs> so he uprooted us which sucked because I had to come back for a whole year of high school. Yeah. At 17, I had to come back and take all this Texas history again. Yeah. They're like, well, you got to have Texas history to graduate. So I ended up having to take extra classes to catch up for the other stuff that we changed states again. It sucked until I graduated. Oh. But I graduated on time. I had to take extra classes because of You just didn't have off campus and shit like that? I just stayed right in school every day and I had to take an extra class. Hmm. And so it kind of sucked. I had to take extra classes. So that I could graduate on time because of the state transfer, but so people could go look and see. I don't know; they might find a yearbook for me in Farmington. I was there for three years, and then I did a whole year. My whole senior year was at Sci Falls, and there might be yearbook photos. I don't know if there are. I don't have any. It's possible. I'm sure if they're out there, since people now know which schools I went to: mm -hmm. Farmington High and in, in New Mexico. And then I spent one year at Sci Falls in Cypress, Texas. Uh, people were. Get the yearbooks and see, man. So I was I was the same handsome dude that I am now. So I'm a oh, ten out of ten. Gee, gee, gee. <laughs> so, so like scoring X trippers everywhere, baby. Damn. Yeah. So, so um, all right. So you went to Woodland Acres Middle School in Galena Park, right? I did actually. Yeah, that's yeah, where people have really dug into it. Yeah. Well, that was a comment from a few years back. And, my, and that place is rough. Yeah. No, let's, I know. Let's it go is. back to the point of I bet Jason can't fight. Okay. No, I know I know about that school. My, okay, let's, my let's go back to this too. point. I was a white kid at Woodland Acres Middle School. Yeah, I, I know. Come back and I tell me I don't know how to fucking fight. I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, get serious. No, I got, I got, I can understand that actually. And I can tell you, in that situation, if you don't know how to fight, you're gonna learn real fast. Yeah. You're gonna have to earn some respect rough over there you'll have to earn some respect and you're going to get your ass whooped on a daily basis yeah well so i survived it i feel you but this okay so this one comment said 
it, this is how we know or this is how like i remember that how you went there this is like you know well i know okay. so the comment was saying like in middle school you always wore like an iron maiden plaid jacket and you were always like the i never owned an iron maiden plaid jacket okay so i can tell you that much i never owned an iron maiden jacket and that you would always come sit at this guy's table. I don't know, it's middle school, so I don't know if you remember it. I'm not going to fault you if you know it. That you would always come sit at this guy's table and you were just kind of like, that guy, a loser? I don't know. Did you, did you have a lot of friends growing up? I have a lot of friends. I had a few friends. When I say I had a lot, no. Did you have enough to satisfy? Like, yeah, like, I, had, I had friends. But we come back to the point. Yeah. I'm in Helena Park as a white kid. No, I feel you. <laughs> so... <laughs> Makes sense, makes sense. But as far as an Iron Maiden jacket, it was Metallica, not Iron Maiden. Okay. So I don't know who the fuck thought I had an Iron Maiden jacket. <laughs> you don't know the difference between Metallica and Iron Maiden? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> so he's already a liar. So. Well, speaking of that, what's your what's your favorite, just curious, what's your favorite music? Like, what do you listen to? Honestly, uh, favorite band, if you were to ask me right now, it's a tie between Nightwish. Is that, is that with the girl singing? The girl singing. Yeah. And Kay Flay is actually really good. I've got really into her in the last couple of months. Um, definitely, other choices would be Tool. I'm a big Tool fan. Oh, I love Tool. I love Tool. Tool is fucking amazing. Dude, my friend Ryder's going to love that. Amazing. Uh, just the, the, the artistry that goes into Maynard's work. Yeah. You guys, you guys are brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I, I love his music. He is. Every he album is better than the next. Bass is songs like all oh, the Fibonacci. And, and they got and, and they got a new album coming out. Yeah, I know. So, Tools up there. But Nightwish. Oh, Ryder's gonna love that. Nightwish is amazing. Absolutely amazing. I discovered them pretty recently. So if you were to ask me my favorite band this week, Nightwish, no doubt. It just changed. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Well, the, the band is phenomenal as far as their their technical skills and technique. Like the whole band is great and it's composed perfectly. Uh huh. Uh, and then her singing is out of this world, unbelievable. So they're they're an amazing band. So check them out if you have it. Yeah, I've only heard the. Oh, wait, I wish, I wish. Oh, I'm thinking of Evanescence. No, even Evanescence. They're they're she's next level better than Amy Lee, and Amy Lee is a great singer. Don't oh. get me wrong, Evanescence is solid. They're good. I know a song by Nightwish, but it's time to go. This one's called like Ghost Love Something. Uh, if you can catch the live version of that, anyone out there who's watching, even if you hate me, I promise you, that song is just going to knock you over your ass. It's just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Like, hmm. I wish I had that type of talent or something. <laughs> so. All right, I'm going to wrap it up here. I got right. one more question. So, what, what, like, all right. So you said honors from college, yeah. but then your ex said you went to, instead of going to AM, you went to Bolivia. Yeah, I did go to Bolivia. And you dropped out after one semester. I didn't drop out after one semester. So do you have a degree from AM? Do I have a degree from AM? No. I do, not. do you have any college degrees? Yes. And I don't want to get into all of them, but I changed majors like three times. So I picked up multiple associate's degrees. Uh huh. Do I consider them significant or important? No. I mean, it doesn't matter now. But... It, these days, it really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But I mean, you're asking me, do I have a degree from AM? No. Do you have a bachelor's from anywhere? Nope. Nope. I, I have over 100 hours. Gotcha. I have over 100 hours from a couple different junior colleges. I had a 4.0 GPA at one time. Um, but I have taken something like 100 to 10 hours. Because I changed majors three times. I went to school, I did just for fun. I did it because I liked it. Uh huh. And, I mean, I'm on YouTube now. I'm making more than some of my friends who have graduate degrees. Yeah, it's I guess something so. I love. So, if that makes me a loser, then being a loser is great. But does it not like bother you that like, you know, like you're like reluctant to leave the house because of like, you know, all the shit going on around you? Is that like? Actually, I want that rumor to be perpetuated. Yes. I, I want everyone to think that I do not leave my house. Well, like, you got the bars on the window. Of course. Yeah. yeah I got a place behind? intentionally like that. That's great. I have no trespassing signs. They've got to come through gates. I've got bars on all the doors and windows, brick right. exterior wall. Um, and you guys have seen my gun. You've seen my collection, right? My actual photo of my gun collection? Nah, but I believe you have a lot of guns, though. I will see, I'll show you a copy of that later. Sorry. You'll be impressed. I love my gun collection. Hmm. I actually, I'm like 20 grand. Right now. You've seen what I make, so that's not unbelievable either. Yeah, for someone living alone, it's not bad. It's not bad, man. But, we'll see. So yeah, I mean, I'm ready. I'm, I'm hoping one of these nut jobs does show up. 
I'm chomping at the bit. Fuck them, right? Fuck them. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you claim to be bigger than Alpha Destiny. Yeah, dude. Come on. You've seen. You, you've seen. I mean, yeah, you're taller. You're taller. You're I'm taller. taller. Just like you're taller than me. I'm taller than you, anyways. I'm six four. Yeah, I knew you were tall. I'm about I like think, six, I six, think six. some people had shown a picture of me standing next. You like, look how short this is. Like, dude's a fucking giant. Yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, he's bigger. He's like six foot something. Yeah. College athlete. Yep. Oof. All right. Alpha Destiny's shoulder girdle is about 53 inches, according to photos. Do you want to come be bigger than him? Just, yeah, wrap it around me. All right. It's hard to do with one hand. All right. Here, I'll take Nova. All right. I'll cool. get Nova back. I'll let you wrap it around me. Yeah. Uh. All right. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna just put the phone right here, and I'm gonna tell you what he gets. Okay. Just relax. And All right, Jason. Jason's shoulder width is bigger than Alpha Destiny's by one inch. By one inch, I've only got an inch on him. Yeah, but it's all Hold good on, though. Man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nova, Nova, we don't need your stats. We already know you're bigger than everybody else. You shit. <laughs> hey, wait, is Nova a boy or a girl? He's a boy. He's, he's neutered though. Gotcha. He's good. All right. Well, thank you. You're welcome, man. Take care, bro. You too. All right. Well, he answered most of the questions to the fullest, I would right, say. Right. I'll let you measure my arms. We measure my chest. You guys see me standing here? Yep. See my dog. My dog is real. He's actually <laughs> a dog. All, All right. Guys, no fakery. About to wrap it up, guys. Okay. okay. Yeah, because we had some off-topic questions. He's like, oh, I got more questions after that yeah, conversation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Off the record. Off the record. So... Those stock accounts, like I see Layton one two three on Instagram. He's always this dude, dude named Layton one two three is always just like defending you to like an obnoxious degree, man. Like just okay, for okay. You want to know how many stock accounts I legitimately have? Look you in the eyes, no bullshit. Yeah, you're gonna say zero. One. I have one stock account, and I'm not gonna say what the name of it is. But do I have a stock account? Absolutely. It's exactly one. Now, I'm not gonna say who it is because it's fucking hilarious. It's not Layton. No, yeah, I don't even, I've never even seen that. One. There, was, there was one other comment that said it was in a video like a year back or something. It was like, ah, you answered, you answered your own question basically. Like, so this one kind of had a question. Okay. It was like, begin with a Z. It's like, Jason, uh, what way should I be doing? Blah blah blah. Then that same account answered like uh, 520 pounds or some shit like that. Like, that wasn't me. No. <laughs> I, I do have a hilarious sock account. Do you comment on your shit or what? I have one sock account that I comment on my own shit on. I have never actually commented on anyone else's videos with my sock account, uh -huh. but I do have a sock account and it actually makes fun of me. Does it pop up on your videos a lot, like every video? No, no. Actually, I haven't done it in a couple months. I need to log back into it. I forgot to the last I haven't done it even once this year. Regularly, I did have one that I commented on uh -huh. and it actually makes fun of me. Because I figure it's good to get some extra trolling going, so I have one that does make fun of me. It doesn't actually support me. Uh, so it, it, it's all in good fun. So I do have one. I do have one. But I've never used it on other people's channels. There's no fun. I don't, I don't, but I'm going to be honest with you guys again. I love what I do, but I like making money with what I do. I don't get paid to go be sock accounts on other people's channels. If I want to come and call someone out, I'm going to make a video about them and I'm going to press the monetization button on them. So if I want to talk, because I mean, let's be honest here. Have I ever shown any uh, ability to hold my mouth and not talk shit about people? No. Nah. I mean, I, I think it's fair to say that I, when I call Jerry Ward Junkie Ward and I say he's a drug addict on camera, yeah. I think it's fair to say I don't really have a filter with some of that stuff. I mean, when I call Cali Warrior the... the Cal booty warrior, Cali, booty Cali, warrior, Cali, yeah. Cali warrior, booty, the booty warrior, and I talk about his Chuck Basher and stuff. Let's be honest, I don't have a filter. Uh huh. 
So if I'm going to talk shit about someone, why would I do it for free when I can make a hundred dollars on a video talking shit about them? Like, like, why would I do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, why give it away for free when I can make a video and I can shit talk them and get paid? Because I would say out of my shit talking videos, I actually, I'm not going to say which one and who, but I had one shit talking video that made $500 off of a single shit talking video. Wow. So why in the fuck when I waste my time posting on people's comments when I get shit talking them in a video and get paid for it? And even if I wanted to do it typing, why wouldn't I do it on my main account so that it would link back to my channel and I would get views from their haters showing up to, to come type at me incoherently usually? Uh, why wouldn't I make my money? Why, why give it away for free? I feel you. So last question. All right. So, and I don't think anyone can argue with that logic unless they think that I hate money. No, I got you. <laughs> so like, Brittany's family, like on the phone repeated times, like her uncle, her cousin, whatever, a lot, numerous people, they had an unfavorable opinion of you, said like you're like a freeloader, like explain that. I can't explain that. Yeah, I don't want to get into her family's private business. Okay, her uncle, I'm gonna, I'm, oh I don't want to get into get her, her family's I'm trying to get her number. All right, Jason, it's been real, man. Yep, Appreciate it. Take care, you. brother. And I'm going to get back inside. All right. Where I obviously never leave seven days a week. That's right. That's right. Non negotiable. Non negotiable. All right, take care, brother. You too. There's Nova. There's Blahino. <laughs> well, that was that, guys. Um, take it how you want it. I'm so sleepy. Okay, bye.